good afternoon and welcome to the presentation. Um, this is our first in a series of Lunch Bites, bite-sized, 15-minute technology webinars around particular products and solutions. Today's topic is document management for Sage 500 ERP. Um, we're going to talk about some of the problems associated with document and file revision management and linking uh, to records within Sage 500 inventory management and manufacturing. Um, the solution we're going to discuss today is E2B Anytime 500 document management. Uh, my name is James Mallory. I am Director of Marketing. So without further ado, let us start the presentation. Um, an overview. The product that we're talking about today is document management and what it does is it provides the ability to define and control documents and other file attachments within Sage 500 ERP, formerly Sage 500 or Sage Mass 500, and link them to item records, manufacturing routings and bills of material, as well as engineering change orders. So why would somebody need document management? Right? There's, there's other solutions on the market. This product is very different. So our document management allows you to attach multiple files in any format, specifically to these three Sage 500 record types. Okay, so we have items, we've got manufacturing routings, bills of material. We also have um, another module that we offer called engineering change orders. So we've integrated document management with our ECO module as well. Okay. Um, the goal really is to improve many areas of your business. Uh, number one is in quality compliance. So if I've got documents around how to handle things, MSDS sheets, different things that are required to me for ISO or uh, different quality initiatives, I can include those documents and those files within my Sage 500 system. Uh, if I'm required to comply with 21 CFR Part 11 for FDA, um, you know, med device, food and beverage, um, I can have different documents and files attached to really support my overall compliance initiative and program. Again, when I'm making uh, changes to a revision on a routing or a bill of material, a lot of times if I'm making a change, maybe in a procedure, maybe in the items I'm working with, maybe it's a material safety issue, I probably need to uh, change the files and the attachments that might be related, not only to those ECOs, but also to the routings and bill of material that are related. And all of this is, is within an audit trail. So if I'm trying to comply with ISO or 21 CFR, I've got an audit trail. What changed, when did it change, and who changed it. Okay. Item attachments, if I'm in an item record, um, I need to see a lot of different things around that item, right? Wouldn't it be nice if you could see an MSD sheet if you happen to be distributing um, hazardous materials? Wouldn't it be nice if you could see an item drawing, a CAD drawing, or wiring schematic for the products that you're manufacturing or, or reselling? User guides, manuals, um, sales brochures, collateral, videos, supplier documents, anything you can imagine could be attached in against an item attachment record. Manufacturing, right? With lots and lots of files in manufacturing, CAD drawings, schematics, um, it could be specific material handling. Um, suggestions or directions uh, could be quality control procedures right so all these different things we can attach to a routing and a bill of material the system is integrated to the sage uh, system manager so you can control security for this module um, from within the sage system manager also integrated as i mentioned before inventory management manufacturing um, and our eco module that we offer um, e2b technologies you can also use it with the Sage Customizer module. So if you want to use the Customizer module to make some small screen changes um, or do some VB scripting, maybe call some other applications, um, you can certainly do that through the Customizer module if you happen to own that. A um, couple real quick setup things within the, the module. Um, you can go into Manufacturing Setup. We've added a couple um, options here. One is obviously the next document number. So we increment the document numbering within the system. Then how do you want to control changes to the documents when they're checked in or checked out? Where are those basically governed? You can do that through your native Windows Explorer security, or you could do it through Microsoft SharePoint. Choice is really yours. 
Um, then there's um, a couple directories here that you get to define. You know, where's the root directory for the documents and where I'm storing them, and where's my working folder so when I check a document out or a file. You know, I could be working an AutoCAD file, check that out. It's not available for anybody else to make changes to. I then check it back in, so it comes out of the root directory, into the working directory, and then back into the system as a new revision. Okay. Then um, we do give you the ability to maintain different document libraries. This is really just a, kind of a file structure so that you can organize documents into different groups to make them easier to find. Um, so document maintenance. This is where you would create a new document or where you would manage revisions. So I've got a document or a file ID. I'm going to assign it to a library so I, I know what types of documents that I'm, I'm putting into them. Um, and then I put the path in, right? I browse to that document, again, probably secured in either Windows um, security or through Microsoft SharePoint. And then down at the bottom, I can give it obviously a description, and then I can check it out. So I'm going to make changes to it. It's going to give me then my new revision number, and then I can check it back in. And if I, if I have documents checked out that I haven't checked back in, it's going to tell me who has them checked out. Um, this is just an example of viewing your attachments from within item maintenance. So we've added a new button called Documents. So I basically pick the item. I click on the Documents button, and then you can see here the document link entry. I can have as many different files as, as I could potentially conceive attached into this record. Um, it could be instructions, could be, again, brochures, collateral, videos. We don't care what the file form is. We don't care how many there are. As long as you have an application on your desktop that can be used to open um, in view only or in edit, um, in edit mode, you can then check that out from here, make your changes, and check them back in. Okay. Same thing on the routing and the bill of material. So we have the document button added here. So there were some multimedia buttons in um, other versions of Sage 500 so that you could put in like a CAD drawing link, um, you could put in um, I think a video link, and uh, there might have been one more type of, of multimedia file that you could put in there, I think audio. Um, this basically replaces all those because those you could only link one file um, with the documents um, attachment here. You can put as many different files or, or documents against this routing and bill of material. Same thing with ECOs, only we handle this a little different. So we have documents at the ECO level, so maybe it's something that is all encompassing across my ECO. But those of you who have seen our ECO module, it does allow you to manage changes to multiple routings of bill of material. So not only can you manage your document changes or file changes at the ECO header, every single routing that's attached or associated with this ECO can potentially also have changes to its documents and files. So we kind of handle it in two ways here. From a pricing standpoint, pricing is based on the number of users that you have within Sage 500. These are user licenses you've purchased from Sage. So we've got five editions. These are different than Sage's. So even though Sage had a small business edition, a standard edition, and an enterprise, um, these are not the same as ours. Our small business edition is 1 to 10 Sage users, standard edition 11 to 30, professional edition is 31 to 50, uh, 51 to 100 for advanced, and 101 plus for our, our enterprise edition. And you can see the pricing here up on the screen. This product, the document management product, is included in the Anytime 500 distribution suite, as well as our Anytime 500 supply chain suite. These are basically discounted bundles of many products that we offer. Um, there is also maintenance support contracts available um, that provide you with unlimited support and um, updates on the product. Consulting, you could probably implement the solution on your own, but we do suggest about one to two hours worth of services just in case you need them. We'll show you how to, to implement the system and answer any questions that you might have. Um, we do have a promotion running currently through the end of June 2013. Um, so if you're interested in this product, contact sales and they can get you more information on what that discount is. Um, it is not valid with any of our other bundle discounts that we have out there today. Um, you may want to see an actual product demonstration, um, which is pretty basic, but um, we'll give you an overview of what the software does. We did not do that today, 
um, in the essence of time, but if you go to our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash E2B Tech, um, you can review that on your own. Um, you can also visit e2banytime.com, go to the products, and then go to Anytime 500. Those are all of our Mass 500 or Sage 500 ERP add-ons. And we've got links to the PDFs as well as the videos from there as well. Um, what you've seen today is, is really document management for records, right? So for item records, for bill of material records. We're not doing anything on, on document capture, document routing, um, approvals. But we do work with all tech um, for companies that are on Sage 500 as well as companies that are on Epicor 9. So if you need a more advanced solution than um, what we've shown you today or something that's a little bit different, uh, contact us and we can, we can talk to you about the Alltech product. It's absolutely fantastic. It um, allows you to capture from pretty much a ton of, of different formats over here on the left and then output those files in various formats, save them. It's got document control and security built in. You can fax them, view them, email them. And it's got all this great workflow in between if you want to go through approvals processes or routing processes. Um, so that's going to conclude the webinar today. Um, I'd like to thank you for taking time out. I've got my contact information up on the screen, so if you have any questions, um, really from a marketing standpoint, you're going to want to contact me. Um, if you would like to get a formal quote or you would like to schedule a more in-depth product um, discussion, or if you have questions specifically around the product, um, contact my associate, Tiffany Kirkland. Um, I've got her contact information up on the screen, and uh, she'd be very happy to help you out. So with that, we're going to let you all go, and we will see you on our next Lunch Bite. Take care. Bye.